Well, I'm nostalgic here, guys. Remember, so you're gonna have a nice Kings David Giant 2B here for no reason. doing a Star Trek 9, Star Trek Insurrection, um, in 1998. Um, you know, obviously, uh, things were going really well with the uh, next generation stuff. Sorry about that noise in the background, but anyway, um, yeah, um, you know, uh, Insurrection is kind of like a hour and a half to two hour. Many an hour like like episode. It's not. I mean, it wasn't very good. Um, you know, the same old cast. You know, Levar Burden and um, Michael Doran and uh, um, Patrick Stewart and Jonathan Frakes and um, and whatnot. And um, and of course, um, and of course, uh, Brent Spiner plays Data. And uh, yeah. Um, you know, obviously, uh, just to sum up this one, this one's basically a, like an hour and a half to two hour episode. Um, it's basically um, a found a youth. They found a found a youth planet. And they're trying to exploit it and stuff. And um, it's not very good, but yeah, um, it starts out there showing like you know this pre warp uh, uh, planet and these people in it. And you don't know that these guys are monitoring, monitor, they don't know they're being monitored, but of course the guys that are monitoring them, along with the Federation people, because um, they're probably found a youth type people. Um, and of course Rick Berman produced it and stuff, but, uh, but the thing of it is, um, I think Jonathan Franks directed this one too. Um, but the thing of it is, is that, um, uh, they're related, but you don't they don't reveal that till, till later on in, in, the, in the movie and stuff that they're related to them or something. But they have this family. I don't know. They, they're really pretty much related. But anyway, so it shows like, you know, the um, you know, it shows like the, you know these people, and they're just you know like you know it's a you know it's a like a, like a colony. Well, it's like a you know kind of like the Middle Ages, kind of like kind of the Middle. They don't have they don't believe in technology. These people and stuff. And all of a sudden, like, um, Data, played by Brent Spiner, kind of goes cuckoo manunu on them. And he just, like, just starts shooting things. And then, of course, he reveals these two old Windows 98 DOS, or not, not Windows 98, um, you know, 366 computers or something. And it happens to be the modern, and that kind of exposed. And, of course, you know, he always he's, um, Cam Picard's responsibility and stuff. But yeah, that's how it started. And like I said, like basically it's down to the youth and stuff. But yeah. Oh yeah, Jerry goes with the music. Area 7 to command. Go ahead. We could use another survey team out here, sir. Based in Ensign McCauley and Ensign Giles. Please report to Area 7 and assist the anthropology team. Technology. He's waiting for this transmitter to the ship. Alert! Area 12! <laughs> So Data is revealed, of course he's corrupt, but he's also kind of revealed because he found the truth that they're trying to transport these people off, but he's kind of corrupted, and of course, meanwhile, um, Picard um, is doing like a greeting this new war developed warps into the Federation and stuff. Like I said, I can't show scene for scene because if, if I could, you know, you know, I, I could, but, you know, i go to jail or, you know, be in big trouble because it's copyrighted material. Um, but anyway, and of course Picard's acting like a goofball, they're trying to, uh, uh, basically trying to, you know, welcome this new, you know, because Enterprise is the flagship, etc. And, um, 
and, you know, of course, everybody's revealed on the other planet. But anyway, um, and I think, you know, that's the thing is they knew about technology and stuff, and I have to get my camera fixed. But anyway, um, I don't know what to do about that, but, um, I know this is falling off, but, um, anyway, um, yeah, of course, they have to divert to this planet and stuff. And, of course, Admiral Doherty is kind of like, you know, kind of like a brainwashed weirdo. And it's a little bit, a little bit of comedy here. You'll be expected to dance with Regent Cusack in Jim Bond. Very funny. The captain needs to cut quite a rope. Horse Picard. Captains, I need to talk to you before the reception. Captain. Mr. Ward. Oh, Lord. What the hell are you doing here? I was at the men's car call. He's a little late, Jordy. Can I wait? I don't think so. Right, excuse with me. Uh, tell him that I'm already here. I'll talk to him when he arrives. Mr. Wolf, I Jordy, the captain would like you to come up here. Tell him we received a communicate from Admiral Dowry. It's about data. So, um, Picard uses his excuse to get data back as an excuse because he didn't really want to be there. But it's funny because they did, they did crap like this, um, in the original, you know, in the, in the TV show, they did funny things like Goofy, you know, that's why I think this is a bad extended episode of Star Trek, because they've done ridiculous things like this before, and, um, you know, and of course, um, you know, the Bakula are the ones with the founder of youth, I guess. And, um, and of course, they're like kind of, and that's the thing, is DS9 was finishing up, D Space 9 was finishing up, so that's why they're talking about the Dominion War and stuff, and um, but Picard's kind of delighted, because he likes to be, you know, you know, because Picard's kind of taking over the role of Cam Kirk, I guess, you know, I guess starting with First Contact, because, you know, he used to be, this was kind of like the crux of the original Next Generation stuff, but then I guess there's more action-like. And this might have been the time that, oh yeah, they do this plastic surgery stuff to the, the, the this alien species. But anyway, um, like this story, like skin stretching thing. But anyway, um, and of course he uses the kill Doherty. Anyways, the, the bad guy. Um, but any, because they they want to be like living forever. I guess that you know that's the hint here. Um, I guess that's the hint with the jokes and everything. You know, li you know, a bounty youth. You know, living forever. But anyway, um, I guess I think he's more Kirk light, you know, Picard. And I guess I think this is my been time. If you watch Doctor Picard, that. Um, Dr. Crusher might have been pregnant, maybe, I, I'm guessing. Either this or, or the other, or, or Nemesis, I don't know. But sometime between here and there, she might have been pre pregnant with um, uh, her next son. Because Wesley got lost to uh, the Traveler. Uh, but anyway, so like, um, Data's trying to sabotage things. And of course, they're all using, you know, you know, using hologram technology. Meanwhile, Picard um, is basically coming to that planet. And, um, trying to, you know, get Data back. You know, because obviously he's kind of a card, but obviously cause that's because Data kind of found something. And that's the thing is, they're kind of playing against each other. You know, it's one of those type of movies where he's being a double, triple agent type thing. And, um, of course, they're putting, you know, a lot of jokes aside, you know. Um, DS9 just finished up. And, um, oh yeah, Diana Troy is actually taking advantage of being her captaincy. Or basically, her commander, see, you know, because she didn't do that before, but it's, you know, finally she's actually doing that. And Riker's actually sitting on the sideline because they're going to get married in the next movie, anyways. So, which is good. And, um, so Picard and, um, Worf, Michael Doran, uh, go try to get, you know, capture data and, um, you know, see what the, you know, what's going on. Of course, they go on the planet. Of course, now everybody's exposed, anyways, to the Federation and stuff to find out what's going on. And, um, and of course you have a little bit of comedy here and whatnot, which is kind of good. Um, but yeah. Open all hailing frequencies. Data, this is Captain Picard. Data, please respond. <laughs> Fire 
our attack the outburst, it might force him to reset his shield harmonics. When he does, you can leave him out. Make it so. Great hit. He is resetting his shield harmonics. Leave him out. He's activated a transport inhibitor. The fatal into the atmosphere. We use the ionospheric boundaries to shake it. Scanners are offline. The basic maneuver is heading 147. And of course they use uh, his thing to, uh, you know, they use uh, you know, card things. Oh, I'll just use music to get him back to normal. Tishtar is a soaring soul, as free as a mountain bird. His energetic fist should be ready to resist a dictatorial word. Sing, walk, sing. His nose should pant. And his lips should curl. His cheeks should flame. And his brow should furl. His bosom should heave. And his heart should glow. And his fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow. His nose should pant. And his lips should curl. His cheeks should flame. And his brow should furl. His bosom should heave. And his heart should glow. And his fist be ever ready for a knockdown blow. And the talking glass. I should flash with it. Anyway, so apparently they already knew that they were being watched. I guess they knew. That's the thing is these people just refused to be modern, or and 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 that's the thing they knew about that. And all of a sudden they start getting to the planet, and all of a sudden they're becoming like like young themselves. That's maybe one reason you know you spend this time on the planet, and and, and of course the crew of the Enterprise is just figuring this out and stuff. And, um, and of course they reintroduce themselves and, um, and then they realize, oh yeah, um, you know, um, you know, so then they, and of course they have to be running away to, um, they, they you know, they have to run away because the, uh, uh, Sona people are good, trying to capture and of course Starfleet, you know, they don't realize that there is something going on with this planet. Normal parameters. What? They fixed me. Captain, the boy is afraid of me. It's nothing personal, David. You have to remember that these people have rejected technology. I am the personification of everything they have rejected. Until this week, that young man probably never saw a machine, let alone one that walks and talks. Bridge to Riker. Can I get back to you, Mr. Worth? Admiral Darty is on the conflict, sir. Patch it through. Yes, Admiral. Why haven't you left the order? Captain Picard is still on the surface, sir. Doing what? He didn't want to leave until we could adequately explain why data malfunction. His future at Starfleet could depend on. Because the Sona know that something's going on. And of course they're they're experiencing this. And of course they're trying to do this space stretching thing. And, um, and yeah, um, so anyway, so, you know, of course they're trying to run away because, you know, now the 12 hours are up, uh, they're going to try to evade, of course, and of course they find the hologram because they were kind of beam these people aboard, uh, this holographic ship. And of course now they have to run away and try to save because, because now, because now they're violating the prime directive with these people. Because you know, you're not supposed, to, you're not supposed to interfere with the technical audio development, which was in the original series, by the way, and of course Kirk did it all the time. But in this case, they were violating the Prime Directive and stuff. And um, and of course, then she realizes how she's like, she's like 900 years old, and of course everybody gets younger. You know, the you know it's the found youth thing with the generator. And of course, they knew about this, the, the Sona people. Again, they're the same people. We, they, you don't know that yet. And. Um, and of course, Picard's trying to pull the cat. Kirk and trying to date uh, the main leader and stuff. Like I said, I can't do scene for scene, but I'm just trying to skip ahead. And of course, uh, Jordy gets his eyes back, and uh, and he's like, "I find a woman." And, and and of course, now they're going to be attacking. Of course, uh, and of course, uh, the, the the Admiral's kind of screwball. He's talking about history and stuff. 
And he's like, we can't leave. And he says, oh, yeah, I'm aware and blah, blah, blah. once turned petty thugs into world leaders. Warp Drive transformed a bunch of Romulan thugs into an empire. We can handle the salt. I'm not worried about that. Someone probably said the same thing about the Romulans a century ago. The metaphysics, lifespan will be doubled. An entire new medical science will evolve. I understand your chief engineer has the use of his eyes for the first time in his life. You take that away from there are metaphasic particles all over the Briar Patch. Why does it have to be this one planet? It's the concentration in the rings that makes the whole thing. Don't ask me to explain it. I only know they inject something to the rings that starts a thermolytic reaction. When it's over, the planet will be uninhabitable for generations. Have no delay the procedure. Let my people look at the technology. 50,000. A million. How many people does it take out? Corrupt. Because the founding, you know, the Federation was founded on, on, um, you know, not interfering. I like, guess, you know, we look at history, you know, the new location of the Indians and, um, here in the United States, you know, what, um, Andrew Jackson did, and then, um, you know, blah, 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 you know, the programs in Russia and, not, you know, Germany, blah, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and of course, you know, uh, decides to pull, you know, violate things and stuff because it's kind of like this is wrong. You gotta save these people, and and of course the the Sona kind of corrupt here, and um, and of course then he kind of you know of course then uh, he kind of kills uh, the Admiral guy, the Sona guy, and then. Um, and yeah, and they kind of hide in the cave, and they have to battle it out. Of course, you know they do the Riker maneuver and stuff, and um, yeah, that's why it's kind of boring and stuff. So, transceiver assembly's down. We can send messages without receiver. I don't think they believe us. Why not? Photon torpedo. Isn't that a universal greeting when communications are down? I think it's a universal greeting when you don't like someone. Full impulse. Manifolds can't handle full impulse in the patch come in. If we don't outrun them, the manifold will be the only thing left on the ship. I'll be an engineer. Red alert! All hands! Battle stations! And have you noticed how your groups have started to firm up? Not that we care about such things in this day and age. Uh-huh. Thank you, Data. So the Sonar are trying to capture these people by force to remove them. So they exploit what's going on with the planet for the metaphysics and the health of the planet. Sorry, I'm a little bit on the exhausted side. But anyway, um, yeah. Um, and of course they hide in the caves and of course they have to fight back. And, um, and meanwhile they do Wrath of Khan stuff going in a nebula kind of with Riker and stuff. And... Um, and of course, then they decide to play a trick on them with the hologram business. And, um... And yeah, um, they, you know, they, they battle it out. And of course, then they say, oh, yeah, you're the same people. They reveal that and stuff. And, um, you know, the main bad guy gets defeated and stuff. You know, I don't want to go for detail to detail. So yeah, the main guy, the other guy betrayed his brother, and um, the main bad guy is transported the hologram, and of course they have a bat, you know, fist fight. You know, uh, Picard's doing a Captain Kirk thing with the uh, 
fight business. And of course, then you know, Riker comes to save the day. Um, and of course, a happy ending. And of course, um, Data. Um, and yeah, so that's pretty much that. And then you know, everything kind of wraps up with that. That was uh, Star Trek Insurrection. They beam up, and uh, yeah, um, you know, they beam up, and and, um, and that's Insurrection. But you know, it's just like a longer episode of the same thing around here. Anyway, um, the Giant Two B signing off.